welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys these products from Butter London that I got from TJ Maxx. I got these and I didn't want to include this in a makeup haul video because I felt like these deserved their own special attention. Alright, so this is what their packaging looks like um, from Butter London. And their packaging is like so freaking cute. Look at that. Um, it just makes you feel like you just bought something expensive. And I want to say this, I, I didn't realize what these products were. And the first one I purchased, I purchased it from, it was in their clearance section. And you can find these at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, okay? Um, yeah, this was the little sticky from like them putting a the little sticker thing on and I couldn't get this thing off because this didn't have a price on it. And I was like, oh, this looks like a good highlight color. And this one, it's called Tweet. It's called Tweet and it's their cheeky tinted highlighter. I was like, let me see how much do I can get someone to price this for. So, you know, I went and asked someone and they came over. They was like, no, do you want to pay six bucks from this? I'm like, I don't even know what this is. That's what I was thinking, I didn't say it. She was like, what about three? I was like, three dollars great to spoke my language, yes. That was the voices from the inside. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, three dollars sounds good. Because that frugal person in me was just like, yes. Wait, so let me um, squeeze this out so you guys can see what this looks like. Mix this up a little bit. You can use it as an eyeshadow, you can use it as a tint if you want to. I think this will probably, if you're gonna use this on a tint, I would say use it gently if you're medium skin tone, like my skin tone. Um, but you wanna go full blast, I think this will go look good on anyone between medium and dark skin. I feel like this will look great on you because it's a little bit um, on the coppery side, but use this on your eyelids. I don't know why that's not on there. Especially if you're going to put on eyeshadow on top of it. This is a very quick drying formula. It's gonna dry all the way. It's not gonna crease in your eyes. The colors is gonna last for an extremely long time because once it dries, it dries. It doesn't crease on you, nothing. It literally dries all the way matte. So if you're gonna use this to apply, if you wanna put eyeshadow on top of it, I think this would be act as a great base. Um, but just be ready to put on your eyeshadow. Or you can just use this as just an overall, just to add some shine and maybe add a little deeper tone on the outside and in your crease and that's it. After I came home and tested and put it on, and anyway, I was like, oh my goodness, this thing dries all the way matte. Okay, I need to find out how much this costs because this is acting like a high-end product. Went online, this thing costs 24 bucks. After that, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize what I'm purchasing here. And so I went to TJ Maxx and I saw a whole bunch of these. And this is the price it's going for. These are $2.99 and I got the lip pencils for $1.99. And these are called the Wink Cream Eyeshadow, the Far Cream Pour Livre, or whatever. Eyeshadow that also dries. So far, I've gotten five shades. They had a blue one, but I didn't want it. It was a light, it was just too much for me. These are all the shades that I have so far, and I paid $2.99 each for them, and they go for $18 on their website, y'all. $18. You think of the value there. Okay, I'm gonna just swatch the first one, and I'll put the rest on my hand so you guys can see. Coriander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Green. Forest green. Yes. We'll call it forest green. All right, this next color is called Indigo Punk. Beautiful, beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Uh, this next one is called who is naming you, Butter London? Who is naming these products? Please, who Treckle? I'm probably saying it terribly, terribly raw. I'm telling you, these are gonna make some really dope base, but you can put it on as a base and then just use the eyeshadow to like you know fill in the crease or whatever. And if you're gonna put a pop of color there, you can. This is the Lazy Girls eyeshadow, like for real. Milani eyeshadow eye sticks, and this is the Lazy Girls, no, but this specifically is the Lazy Girls eyeshadow. Like, for real, for real, for real. Definitely, you have those days you don't want to do nothing. This is it. Now, this one is called Alabaster Gaze. It's more of a silvery, whitish, frosty color. Yeah, I'll say more silver. All right, and then the last one, this is called Pistol Pink. <laughs> All right, this is more of a very cranberry, pinkish looking tone. Anyway, these shades are just beautiful. Let's see what they blend like. All right, no point in doing all this. Oh, and it's starting to dry. That's what I love about this formula. So you don't have to worry about it. After you put it on, you don't have to worry about how it's gonna behave. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing like putting an eyeshadow and have to worry about it coming off later. You know, you don't wanna have to worry about that. And then I have two, two liners from them as well. It's called Pistol Pink. That's what it comes looking like. And the other one is called Jaded Jack. 
And you know what? I think they did have a eye um, color for that as well. But I don't think I got it because I was like, this is doing too much. This, I mean, you could use these as eyeshadow bases. I don't see why not. Very, very beautiful, beautiful pencils. And I only bought them for $1.99 each. So yeah, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys, like for real, like TJ Maxx and Marshalls be having some steals in there. I love a really good deal, like for real. Especially if it's on good makeup. I I, I want to buy good makeup, but I don't want to break my wallet, you know what I mean? Like so any ways I can find to get discounted stuff on high-end products, you are, I'm, I'm all about that. That has my name like all over it. So I want to say, get a chance, pop in there and grab you some of these. And this will go perfect for putting stuff like the BH Cosmetics, you know what I mean? Like these will go great for using it as a base and then going on top of something that really, really dries and stays and doesn't go anywhere. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, definitely make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely make sure to comment in the box below. Let me know if you tried these before, if you liked them, and what did you use them with? Like, did you use them like with another eyeshadow? Did you use it by itself? Um, what do you use to apply with it? Because, uh, yeah, I don't know about these applicators. I'm going to have to see. Anyway, like, whatever you used it with, um, definitely make sure to post it below. Like, if you recreate something that I've done and you felt like it turned out really well, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram's the same as my YouTube and everything else. It's uh, sipsandtipsadvice.com. And, yeah, when I start posting you guys when y'all use these techniques or you use these products, I can post y'all on my blog or just share it on my Instagram. Anyway, I would love to hear that from you guys. And make sure to subscribe to my channel as well if you're not already subscribed. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.